Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. It's been a few years since I did a video on overspray removal. I've got my lovely wife, Tony, with me today. And uh, this is something that I specialize in. It's important to me to be able to do this kind of work. Uh, what I'm gonna show you guys today is that I can remove overspray from pretty much anything. So let me show you the task at hand. I'm gonna walk around uh, with this little LED flashlight. I've got one of my little LED lights uh, so we can see what's going on. This is a uh, new Toyota Highlander. And as you can see, there's dots everywhere. All over the trim. That trim has overspray everywhere. There's overspray all over the paint. You can see those dots. And that's just in this little section. So I was hired to remove the overspray from this vehicle and that's exactly what's gonna happen. So we're gonna be kind of aggressive with it. I'm gonna do uh, the overspray removal and then we're gonna do a light polish to fix anything and everything I put on there. but you can see it's riddled with overspray everywhere. Uh, apparently they hired a detailer to remove it. <laughs> and then you, you can see, you can, you can uh, pretty much put the rest of the story together. Um, the people who were hired to do it did a absolutely horrible job. And so, so then they had to call the real professional. And so here I am. You can see this overspray is literally everywhere. Um, it's gonna be quite a bit of work, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time yapping today. I will absolutely show you guys what's going on as I get rolling. Man, they really scoured the crap out of the paint trying to remove the overspray, which they did not do. That's what happens when you hire someone who does not have my experience you're gonna spend money, then you're gonna to have to spend the money to pay me properly to get it done, well, properly. So if you wanna go ahead and be cheap and pay somebody that doesn't know what they're doing, I mean, anybody can promise things. You should absolutely uh, have them do some kind of a demo for you. This kind of work, it's good for me because it allows me to get the work from the people who can't do it. <laughs> but at the same time, it's not good for you potential customers out there who need some overspray uh, removal done because everybody wants to go with the cheap guy. Where if you hire me, you have no issues. I take care of it. I'm like the wolf from Pulp, Pulp Fiction, if you guys have seen that movie. I just handle it. You hire me, I get it done, it goes away. The problem is no longer a problem and you don't have to deal with it anymore. So 813-846-4406, and I haven't even showed you anything on, else on this video yet. I'm just showing you what's going on, and now it's time to get to work. All right, so I went around it just now with you uh, and showed you what's going on, but uh, the lovely Tony just pointed a couple things out that I want to get on video. Um, whoever messed with this last left clay everywhere in the paint protective film edges. Uh, that was... Well, there before I started. Um, yeah, if you can't remove the overspray with your fingernail, it's it's stuck on there pretty good. So, you know, again, it takes a professional to do professional quality work. Um, I, I just, people just want to go cheap. Sometimes you just can't go cheap. You got to pay the piper. That's what you got to do. And Gary Dean is the piper. So um, all this clay that's in there, I'm gonna try to remove that without damaging the paint protective film. But this is more of a, you know, a part of the reason I shoot these videos is to show you what's happening, but also to cover my ass. I wanna make sure that you guys see everything that I'm seeing before I start. Uh, it's a very nice new vehicle, uh, but this overspray is really killing the vibe, if you feel me. Uh, it does have a bunch of dings and stuff on the door edges. We're just going to point out all the flaws right now. 
Um, it's got dings and dents in it. I mean, this door edge is all chewed up. You got more clay. <clears throat> clay in there. It's clay in there. All right, that's pretty much it. See anything else? Lovely, Tony. All right, well, I've got my solution of uh, Forever Insulus out here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start doing some testing and see what's going to work. We'll bring you back when i got more done. All right, making some progress. No, I'm not going to show you how I'm doing it. Um, it is a secret process. You guys already know Infinite Purpose Cleaner and my Japanese clay bar work great. Um, I do have a much faster way to do this, which is what we're doing. Notice none of the overspray is on the trim anymore. It looks awesome. Still kind of dirty. If you look at the paint, there's still overspray on the paint because I have not addressed the paint as of yet, but I did get this side of the trim done. The lovely Tony is working on the other side. I've gotten all the trim on this side done. Um, I just made a Publix run to get some snacks and some refreshments. And now we're back to work. Tony's been working on this side, doing a great job. So, getting some work done. Maybe I'll tell you how we're doing it. It's not going to be on this segment though. You got to wait. All right, we're going to try to get some more work done. I'll bring you back when we when you have more when we have more done. Okay, so I got Tony just wiping down the tailpipes. As you can see, this thing looks awesome. Uh, I am going to polish it real quick, real quick. I'm talking about with a quickness. I'm just going to buzz the whole thing to get rid of See that inconsistency in the orange peel? It's, you can see it here. That's just micro marring from the clay bar. Um, and it doesn't take much to remove that. That's all I put in there was a little bit of that. Uh, this hood has paint protective film on it, which I am not a fan on, uh, of I should say, where the other people who tried to remove the overspray got all of this uh, clay bar in the paint protective film. I got as much out as I could without damaging the film. Uh, I'm just not a fan. It mutes the color. It's not crystal clear. I just, I don't know. I don't love it. But you can see the haziness. So I'm going to polish it real quick and get rid of that haze. You can see on the edge of that body line how hazy it is and all that micro marring up in there. So that's what the aggressive uh, pushing on the clay bar does, but it doesn't do anything else. We got the wheels clean, tires dressed. Uh, <laughs> the people who worked on this car before didn't even go up on the roof. I got the roof spick and span. There's no overspray on it. And check out this trim. This is just... Uh, little bit of dust but it looks awesome no more no more overspray you can see how horrible that looks from just the marring of the clay bar again I'm about to straighten that out but I just wanted to show you guys the trim and how great it looks we're in Bradenton today working on this car we got this random phone call from a painter about a month ago and he's been trying to find somebody to fix this and so here we are anyway so I got it all straight there's no overspray on any of the trim anymore we even got all up in there got all of it out of there all of the cracks and crevices all of it off the interior piece of rubber rubber for all the windows Got it off the cowl here. There's no more overspray in there. All the way over. Got it off this trim. It was really bad in the headlights and all of the edges and that kind of thing. It's really, 
the edges are a place uh, transitions and edges are a place are places where lots of people uh, miss so all up in here there was overspray all in here in the edges around here in the edges I gotta get my own I got some toothpicks I'll get that that's clay bar from us working in here but you see how fantastic it looks no more overspray looks great and this side now Again, I cannot stress this enough. If you want overspray removed and you want it to go away because overspray is like glitter, it's the gift that keeps on giving. When you think you've cleaned it all up, you have not. It is in every nook and cranny and here and there and everywhere. And there's no real way to get 100%. But if I can get 99% of it off there and you don't notice that the rest is there because, well, it pretty much isn't. That's all we're looking for. But uh, I did this trim as well. All the trim was done. I am an absolute, look, I'm gonna talk myself up because I'm pretty damn good at what I do. Um, and I'm pretty aggravated that people can come out here and tell you whatever they want and get you to sign them up for the job and then you pay them, but you don't know what to look for. Look at your edges. Look at all the edges when you're walking around a vehicle. Look at the edges after the detailer is done. You will find more spots. Not on mine though, because I know what to look for. I know how to look for it. I know what to watch for and I can fix it. Now again, yeah, I'll toot my own horn, toot toot. But the bottom line is I've been doing this for a very long time and there's a reason why many insurance companies trust me to remove overspray from their, um, you know, from claims that they have had. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I charge more, but there's value in that that you cannot find elsewhere. But hey, maybe your guy charges more than me and doesn't do a good, as good a job. Bottom line is, when you hire me, you hire my experience and my time, not just my time. The experience has considerable value if you want something done right. Now this is a $40,000 plus dollar car and was riddled with overspray when I got here and now it's fixed. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna stop yapping because I already, I'm sure he's like, oh, this cocky, cocky guy is talking about overspray and how good he is. Well, it is what it is. Um, you know, the people who did this before me that did a absolute garbage job, I'm sure they talked themselves up to the person who paid them. So it is what it is. Do what you gotta do. If you want it done right, call Gary Dean, 813-846-4406. I'm gonna polish this bad boy and then I'll show you the finished product. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here's the grand finale. This thing is free of overspray. Trim looks awesome. There's a little bit of dust on it. As with anything that's sitting in a garage. No more overspray on the paint. No more overspray on the trim, which is really why they called me. So the other guys didn't do a great job removing it from the paint or the glass, but I got what they left behind gone and I fixed all the trim. This trim has zero overspray on it, as you can see. This thing looks amazing too. We got the wheels all straight. Removed all the overspray from them, dressed the tires. 
We did just spray them down with transform dressing instead of using the tough tire gel. I, I wiped all the trim down with tough, tough tire gel after I completed the overspray removal, including this cowl. Um, I polished it with the newest version of Universal All-in-One, which is awesome. Um, it has more abrasive in it to cut better, but it also has a better version of our extremely popular ceramic acrylics. Uh, it has version six, which is super stout stuff. I mean, seriously amazing. I uh, can't see much over here since there's no light, but you can see that there's no overspray anywhere. So trim looks awesome, paint looks awesome. I mentioned already, but I did the roof. The other guys didn't touch the roof. Not only did I remove the overspray from the roof, but I also polished the roof like you're supposed to do. Again, experience, reputation, knowledge is power, all that yada, yada, yada. This thing looks awesome. So anyway, when I quote you a price for a detail, I'm quoting you for my time and my experience. There is considerable value in experience. Because if you're inexperienced, I get called to fix your work. So, which I don't care. I just feel bad for the customer. I don't mind coming and fixing other detailers work. That's job security right there. But uh, can you please get me a clean towel? Anyway, I've walked around it 27 million times. You've seen it. This had overspray all over it, the windshield wiper arm. Tony actually removed it all from that. Looks great. Um, so, roof looks amazing and glossy. Even We even cleaned the overspray out of that trim. Looks awesome. Thank you. Um, trying to think, what else? That's really it. Got the running boards free of all contamination. We did the seal in there. I got all the overspray off of that. This thing is super slick. I did just wipe it down with the uh, Elite Master Coat Boost and spray coating. Uh, the 2023 products. Just giving her a little bit of a wipe. When I mixed up the, uh, so we, we do have a concentrate of the uh, EMC boost now. And when I mix it, I mixed it a little bit heavy and it streaked up. Uh, if you just mix it per the bottle, I, I, I wasn't paying attention. I just poured some in and filled it up with water. It was too much. So anyway, I got that straight dialed in now and then I did the rest of the car. But as you can see, it looks great. Now I will stop babbling at you and uh, I will thank you for taking the time to listen in to, well, to me babble and me ranting about uh, the other detailer or whatever. And uh, you know, people are all about wanting a cheaper price. They want it to be done faster and they want better for less and all of those things. But the problem is good, fast, cheap. You can pick two of them at any given time or whatever. Good and fast, it ain't going to be cheap. You got, you understand what I'm saying. Good, fast, cheap, pick two. That's what I'm saying. Um, but anyway, this thing's done. I appreciate you guys for watching the video and checking this thing out. Uh, I was using a special pad that I'm going to be bringing to market for overspray removal on trim, which is why I didn't show you how I did it. It is not real complicated, uh, but I am having these pads custom made uh, so that, well, I can bring them to market and uh, show you guys what's up. So that's where we're at. Um, I'm sorry I didn't show you more of the how-to, uh, but I just wanted to show you my skill set warrants the price. And that's it. So when you get a quote, 
and you're sticker shocked, call somebody else, have them do it. And then when you need to call me to fix their work, you paid them and me because I'm not going to give you a discount. Why would I do that? Like, it's not my fault you chose to go with a cheaper person based on price and you weren't worried about the experience. Now, look, I'm not trying to be cocky. I'm not trying to portray myself as this guy who knows everything and is the end all be all. I'm not. I do feel like there aren't any better detailers than me. There are others at the same level, but I don't know that there's anybody out there who's better at what I do than me. Um, and you could take that however you want. Um, I'm a no BS kind of guy. I'm, I'm going to shoot you straight every time. And the bottom line is I'm not going to sell you something you don't need. But if you need it and it costs more, my recommendation is to go with somebody that you trust or when you speak to them, if you feel good about it, you should go with them. So anyway, just do your homework, do your research is the bottom line here. I'm always available if you guys need, uh, you know, if I can help you in your detailing endeavors or if you want to hire me to do a job, uh, let's talk about it. 813-846-4406. Also check me out on Instagram. I'll put gary.dean.35 right here and check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes and what I got going on. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that I didn't come across like a arrogant prick. That's not my, uh, that was not my intent, but maybe, maybe I am. And that's how you feel about me. And that's cool too. Uh, but the bottom line is experience matters. Price matters also, but experience matters more. That's my point to you. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful day. And if you need me, use the number.